Hi guys, happy Red Friday. It's Tammy, your real estate broker here. It's time for touring with Tammy. I am on my way to the home that we're going to see today, but first I'm stopping at one of my favorite places in Tacoma, which is i 5 Fa. It is a family owned business. It is an amazing restaurant to stop and eat. Today I'm picking up their fish sauce wings, which is one of my favorite things on their menu but everything else here is amazing so if you guys have not had the opportunity to stop in and have anything that they have on their menu um, go ahead and do that I will drop a at in the description to this video so you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram to get the address come down and check it out um, we do have a great house on the tour for you today I'm excited to show you guys um, it is a three bedroom, two bath home, two story with the basement in the North Tacoma neighborhood just off of J Street and 12th. So I'm going to pick up my order and I will see you guys at the first house. But before I let you go, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for following along. If you are returning, thanks for sticking around hit that subscribe button that bell notification like share and drop me a comment I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about these videos and when you try the restaurants that I'm featuring on my touring with Tammy so see you guys at the first house I'll see you in a bit <laughs> So we are at the first property. You can see that it is a Tudor style home. It is brick, which is one of my favorites outside of a craftsman. And the lot is nice and pretty much flat, easy maintenance yard. This is located just off of North J Street and 12th um, out by UPS. Three bedrooms, two baths, 1,528 square feet and is listed for 650,000. So one of the things that makes this house special is that it has um, historical architectural elements throughout the house. You have a large picture window, you have beautiful hardwood floors, and one of the architectural elements uh, to point out here is the wood burning fireplace how they have the uh, brick still exposed on the outside a lot of plenty <laughs> a lot of plenty huh Plenty of windows in here is letting in some natural light. It is a little bit of a gloomy day today, and then there's a little bit of lights in on in here, but you can still see it's a decent amount of light. Our doorway brings you into the dining room that has the French doors that lead out to the backyard and deck. Fully updated kitchen, you have the granite countertops, plenty of storage space. I love little windows at the sink. Refrigerator is located over where a little breakfast, you would think a little breakfast nook would be. So that's a little different. Now this is two stories with a basement, so we'll go down to the basement here after we go upstairs. Some old creaky stairs. We'll start to the left, bedroom number one. Has a slight walk-in closet. Pretty much just runs the eve of the house also have some additional closet space here as well. 
as well as the second little step-in closet. Windows have not been updated. You can see there's some areas out here on the roof and the window that would need to be addressed. Nice and bright room, nice size. Bedroom number two. Little step in closet here as well. Pretty shallow, but you do have windows that allow in the light. So, see, you can see some of the cracking because it's not your traditional drywall. Now, this house was built in 1938. Here is bathroom number one. Looks like they have some drainage issues. That water's not going down. You have your full bath. Bedroom number three. And final bedroom, so it's pretty much a mirror match of the one next door. Small step-in closet here as well. So they've done updates to the house. It's just not completely updated. They didn't gut it to the studs and put the walls back up. So there are some cracks in the wall that you would definitely want to have a look taken at. Now going downstairs. Looks to be a completely finished basement. Does have a second refrigerator down here. It would be nice to have this plum to be like a small little kitchenette to have a separate kitchen. They have an additional living space down here. Have it set up as a living room. Does have a step-in closet as well as a full bath. So it'd be nice if there was a second kitchen that could be used down here. And your washer and dryers here with the furnace and the water heater. So you have plenty of off street parking, but then you also have alley access to your uh, one car garage. So we'll go outside and take a look. So you have one walkout for the deck, but it extends over to this side as well. So it's partially, partially fenced. The lot is really flat, so it is easy to maintain. Nice paved driveway up to the one car garage. Here's the back of the house. You can see everything is this brick color. I love brick homes. You have some wood shutters up on the second floor. But nice flat property now this does qualify for fha and va as well and there are six first-time home buyer um down payment assistance programs that are available for this property that's up to twenty-five thousand. and what's great about these 
down payment assistance programs is that you can layer them on top of each other if you qualify for more than one program. So you can get some additional funds there. And the assistant gives up to about $25,000 between these programs. So it's a really great opportunity if you are able to make a monthly payment, you have time on your job, but you don't necessarily have all of the funds saved that you would need for down payment. Um, it would help you with that. So let me know what you guys think of this one. If you have any questions about the first time home buyer or down payment assistance program, please let me know. I do teach those classes for certifications um, so I can get you scheduled into one of our next classes. Let me know what you thought about that house in the comments. Uh, again, thank you for following along to this week's touring with Tammy. Hit that subscribe button, that bell notification so you're not missing out on any videos that I drop for you. And drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about these houses. Any um, questions that you have about the market. Maybe you're looking to buy or sell your home. I'd love to answer those for you and help you out the best that I can. So enjoy the weekend. I hope you guys have a a great one and till next time bye guys